So the first responsibility is what we will call the economic responsibility. And economic responsibility, it's where the business and its owners or managers operate within the, an economic system. And from the prior lesson, you would know that an economic system is that system that allocates scarce resources by deciding what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce it. All right? And these economic systems play they should play their part in helping the system to be effective. So the economic responsibility of, of a business, one is to provide employment, to provide employment for the citizens of the country, also by contributing to the overall growth of the economy, all right? And by doing this, they would be exporting goods and services. Now, it will also help to increase the overall exports of the country. So we're talking about how many goods are we exporting at a particular point in time, all right? And when we talk about the exports or production, we um, refer to the, to the GDP of the country, all right? Then we're talking about price and policies. Now, price and policies that are aggressive can have a negative impact on impact, sorry, or effect on other businesses in the economy, and thus they can exploit consumers. All right. So, hence the reason the government, excuse me, would put in place price ceilings and price floors. So, price ceilings is the highest. Um, price possible that someone could pay for a good and price floors are the lowest price that someone could pay for the goods. So some example of the economic responsibility of a business. One, produce a good or service that can satisfy the needs and wants of society. And two, they stimulate economic growth. All right, and by stimulating economic growth, we're talking about being able to provide for um, the citizens in the country. And we're talking about employment, we're talking about um, production, we're talking about exporting of goods and services. The next responsibility is financial responsibility. And businesses must be financially healthy in order for them to survive. Now, what does that mean? Right. So when we're talking about businesses being financially healthy, we're talking about they might be they have to be in a good place. Right. You are not going to start a business to make a, a, a loss. Every business person would start a business to make a profit. All right. So we're talking about most businesses must make a profit, although some may receive government support. All right. And in, in many different ways might be a government grant. So like right now, um, I know businesses can access grants from the government. In, and, you know, of course, they have terms and, and, and um, agreements to pay back that particular um, loan or whatever in, in a space of time. Right. Um, so we have that uh, businesses must create a reasonable financial return for the owner or the investor. So when we talk about a reasonable financial return, we're talking about you invest your money and you must be able to get back something, all right? So that's what we're talking about. What are you going to get back, all right? Now, there may not always be high because of the various objectives of the firm, but these are some of the financial responsibilities of the state of the, the business. One, to pay fair wages to employees, and two, to provide a reasonable return on investment to the owners. Then we're talking about the social responsibility of a business. So the social responsibility, businesses should make decisions that are in, that are in the best interest of the society in which they operate. They also rely on this society to provide vital resources. For, so, for example, they should protect the environment and avoid social costs, for example, pollution. I don't know if you all remember I mentioned um, lead poisoning in Wallerfield, right, where the businesses were dumping their old batteries, right? So they have to protect the environment to avoid social costs right? Developing the culture of a country. So you would see many businesses involved in, so for example, the B-Mobile Interna International, um, Soka Monarch, um, the Digicel uh, Cricket World Cup, right? So you would see a lot of businesses um, getting involved in 
um, social activities or they would have sports day where they would have different communities come out and, and participate, right? So these are some of the activities um, that businesses will engage in to, um, you know, keep the, the, the culture alive of the country. Educate consumers and co community members on the safety tips and proper use and disposal of products. So I don't know if you all remember, but when we were younger, um, they would have persons come in and talk about um, uh, sanitary napkins or toothpaste and the use of it and, and that kind of for younger children, right? So that's also part of educating consumers. Or you would see they would have ads on the television telling you how to use the product, how to dispose of, of, of um, waste, you know, from the product that you are no longer using. Use some of the profits to help develop and benefit the com community as well as the culture of the country. And we also spoke about, we well, we mentioned that before, Digital Rising Stars and the B-Mobile International Sokamona. So there's a political responsibility. And anything we talk about political, we know it's related to the government, obligations to the government, all right? Now, businesses have many obligations to the government. A successful business benefits political health and stability, all right? So they can press for investments which will benefit the whole country, such as roads and schools or ports, all right? So what, what are the responsibilities of the, the business um, in terms of political? They act as pressure groups to lobby governments for changes that will benefit business activity. So I don't know if you all remember Kublal Singh and the whole um, uh, uh, environmental group, right? Um, and and the highway, the highway stuff, right? And a lot of businesses um, were backing um, those environmental. So you have businesses who who have environmental conscious, right? operate along democratic principles and equality of fair play. So they operate a, a, along those lines, right? Um, fair play, e ev everything is equal, yeah? <coughs> oh, bless me. Right, everything is equal. My apologies, guys. Act in accordance with the laws. For example, paying all their taxes when taxes are due, right? So they act, they act in accordance of the law. Assist in setting policies by giving back or making suggestions, right? So you would have, um, you would see persons would assist um, by making suggestions or, or you know, giving their feedback because that is important. Huh? When you have businesses and businesses, remember they're on the ground and they're doing the ground work and they can give feedback when policies are being made, right? Um, that will help the government to make effective policies, right? That will benefit all, all right? And the last one we have here is ethical responsibility. And we spoke about ethics, but let's recap what ethics are. The term ethics refers to beliefs about what is right and wrong conduct. Most societies agree on the basics of honesty and fair play, right? Now, businesses must make ethical decisions to promote strong ethical standards, all right? So what are some of the ways that they can behave ethically? Design ethical guidelines, right? So that's one, design ethical guidelines for their behavior or decisions and, and follow these guidelines, right? So these guidelines would basically be how the businesses will operate, right? How the businesses will operate. Then we have encourage good business practices, right? Or good business ethics of their stakeholders. And, and we, will, we will discuss stakeholders in a bit, all right? Of their stakeholders, right? By refusing to do business with unethical firms or persons, all right? So those are the responsibilities of a business. There is this activity here. Let me remain on it for a couple minutes so that you can get this activity done. In fact, um, this activity will be in your handout. So if you check your handout that you were given, this activity is in your handout so you can test your knowledge. All right. So this is the end of responsibilities of a business.